Hi, today I'm going to cook some of fried rice with shrimp. Our ingredients are here. Steamed rice, five cups approximately. Um, and some shrimp, about 20 pieces. The size is about um, uh, one inch and a half. Not very seriously. A little bit bigger, a little bit small will do. No problem. And uh, I'm going to use two eggs and some asparagus. Uh, I'm going to cut it and uh, about uh, one cup, two pieces of green onions. And uh, also I use some uh, uh, fish sauce. Now I'm going to um, beat the egg first. I use chopsticks. It's very easy for me. This is very uh, traditional Chinese way. You can use whisk to beat it. Just light beat it until the two parts, the egg white and the yolk, are become even mixture. You don't need to beat it to foam. Then I put a little bit chicken powder to enhance flavor. It's optional, about one third teaspoon. Now, I cut some asparagus. This is very small, so I use six, seven pieces. Cut into small pieces. This is organic, very small, but tastes very good. In the fried rice, we usually want to put a little bit of veggie, some tender, crunchy veggie, not leafy veggie. I'm not going to use this and the tip part. So asparagus is very good in the fried rice. Um, plus, today I'm going to use some shrimp. Asparagus is very good with shrimp. Now, some uh, green onions cut into small pieces. In fried rice, I always use green onion. Green onion is very good with the egg and with the shrimp. Now I'm ready to cook. Hi, I'm cooking fried rice with shrimp. First, warm the wok and two tablespoons cooking oil, any kind of cooking oil. I use vegetable oil. You can use corn oil, peanut oil, any kind of oil. Egg first. Pour in the egg and use your spatula to draw the circle on the bottom of your wok to break the egg in small pieces. You don't want the whole thing like the pancake. You are not cooking the omelet. Now you are cooking the fried rice. And then pull this aside, put the shrimp in. Shrimp is very easy to be cooked. So you just stir fry a little bit and until it turn, turn into the cooked color. Pinky curl color. Actually later when you put the rice in, the shrimp still get chance to be cooked together with the rice. So do not overcook it. Now it's about time to put my asparagus in. Stir them together for about 20 seconds. And then rice in. The cooked rice, steam the rice for fried rice, the ideal temperature is room temperature, not icy cold. If icy cold, very easy to form the bowl, rice bowl. If it's just cooked, it's too warm, too hot, it's very easy to get a stick on all over of your wok. 
so the ideal temperature is uh, room temperature. Actually, it's, uh, it's we call the cold rice. The fried rice traditionally is for dealing with the leftover. Last night, leftover steamed rice. So it's cold rice, we call it. Room temperature will be perfect. Things I'm doing now is to use my spatula to break the rice into um, individual, separated rice. I do not want lumpy in my fried rice. So I punch it and uh, cut it. The steamed rice actually is cooked. So you just punch it, break it, separate them, and uh, until it heated up. Now I'm use some uh, fish sauce to the wok. The flavor will be better, not directly to the rice. About two tablespoons. In general, fish sauce is very salty. I use fish sauce. I do not need uh, any additional salt. You can try. If you want some, you can add a little bit salt, a dash of salt. At the very end, I put the green onion to keep the fresh smelling, fresh taste. As soon as you mix the green onion in, you can turn off the stove. It's done. My fried rice with shrimp. I like the flavor and the color. Now scoop them out to my serving platter and I will bring it to table. Here is about uh, four serving people uh, scoop it to their individual small bowl. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching.